On the morning of Monday, 17th October 2022, the leadership of some four labor unions met their members to officially inform them about the strike which took effect right after the declaration by the local union leaders. The striking unions are the University Teachers Association of Ghana, UTAG, Tertiary Education Workers Union, too, Senior Staff Association of Universities of Ghana, and the Ghana Association of University Administrators. The four labor unions insist that the strike is to compel governments to reverse its decision to pay the 2022 fuel ex pump allowance instead of the 2021 price. According to the leadership of the striking members, the strike will affect all aspects of the services rendered by the striking unions, including administrative services. I have to make it clear to the public that yes, UTAG and its sister uh, unions, namely Gawa, SAC, Tewu Ghana, including UTAG, are on strike effectively today. And so I want the public to know that we are on strike. Our engagement has not been fruitful because the directive was simple. The employer should engage UTAG in terms of implementation plan. That implementation plan, the employer is not for to do it. And so until the employer find it fit and necessary that they will give us a plan for the payment, UTAG and its sister unions will remain on strike until further notice. The leadership of TIL and the Senior Staff Association of Universities of Ghana at KNUSC have also been speaking to City News. The government should write a letter directing the uh, uh, vice chancellors of the public universities to pay us what we were, we, we were earning uh, before the, dec the, the letter that came to decrease it. There were having meetings here and there, back and forth, back and forth. And we have realized that government is not ready to restore what were initially paid. The vice president of the KNUST chapter of UTAC, Professor Eric Abavari, has further explained that the interest of the striking unions is not to interrupt the smooth running of academic calendar of the universities, but rather to ensure that government meets their demands. The KNUSD chapter of the four worker unions have resolved to stay off work until their demands are met by the government. For News, Party Amin Ibrahim, KNUSD, Kumasi.